Okay, so now I'm doing the upper thigh here and trying to give you guys a good good shot. And this is using uh, the sugaring paste. This is the soft sugar. So when you first get out a, a fresh piece of sugar, um, it is going to be softer and might be a little bit more difficult to, to remove that first one, but after you've been using it a little bit and, and you have a little bit of uh, dead skin and hair kind of mixed in with it, as gross as that sounds, <laughs> um, it actually works a little bit better. So you can see how you just keep reusing that same piece over and over and over and over. And that's one great benefit to sugaring is that you do use less product. Even though it, it does go on um, thicker than, than wax does, but just the fact that you can keep reusing it, you usually tend to use less product. Yeah, and it's... um. It's all organic, you know, it's uh, safe for the environment. It's just sugar and some lemon juice. So you can see that I'm holding my um, skin tight with my other hand. And if you're kind of wondering why, why I have one blue glove and one black glove, the blue glove is extra small and the black glove is small. So, um... The blue glove is actually better and preferred for, for doing using with the sugaring, even though I have a really pretty big hand, but you want like a tight um, fitting glove for sugaring. It just seems to, you know, you'll have more control and it, it works better. So when I'm putting on the sugar, um, it's hard to tell from a video, but I'm not using a lot of pressure into the skin. I'm using more pressure um, plowing the skin, so going this, you know, going that direction with the sugar, not pushing into the, into the actual skin. And that, by doing that, your sugar's not going to get too hot and sticky and um, be hard to remove. Get a little bit better angle here. That um, doing, but um, oh, it's, uh, it's also it can be challenging to get that right shot. Hmm. It's still not. Doing the back of the leg can be a little bit tricky, but totally worth it. That's the one spot that I really didn't like shaving. <laughs> I think I just have more coarse hair on the back of my leg, so when I used to shave it, I would get lots of um, bumps and irritation. And of course, with sugaring, you can avoid all that.
there's really not a huge hurry with applying that sugar either um, because while it's sitting on the skin it's kind of loosening the hair through with the pH that it has um, it, with that lemon juice it, it's a um, more acidic and it um, actually seeps into that hair follicle and can loosen the hair follicle at least that's what I've been told so and uh, <laughs> with my experience between sugaring and waxing I, I do believe something's going on because sugaring definitely seems to grab the hair better than than the wax did so I'm back the back of my leg my a lot of my hair does grow sideways so that's why I'm going sideways on this hair and everyone's going to be different so you just got to kind of check out what your hair growth is to determine what the best um, direction is going to be And if you um, want to be able to see what you're doing, which can be helpful sometimes, sometimes it's easier not to see. I've tried using a mirror before and, and there's times where it actually does help and other times it just throws me off. So, um, but if, if you do want to see what you're doing, you can use a mirror and put it, put it in front of whatever areas you're working on so you can kind of watch what you're doing. Or I, I suppose you could always use your camera phone as well and just put it on. Um, you don't necessarily have to be recording, but just so you can actually see what you're doing. So with sugaring, also you don't have because it's so much more gentle on the skin. You don't have to uh, be so careful about not going over the skin more than once. I tend to go over the skin if, you know, as if it needs it, if there's still hair there, um, up to about four times on a leg. Unless the skin, you know, looks or feels really irritated, then you wouldn't want to keep, keep going over it. But you can, uh, I'm not sure how much you can see on the video, but I, I think you can tell that my skin's not flaring red or, you know, turning turning inflamed or anything like that. It's really just staying the same color. Sometimes in the, the actual follicle will be kind of pink, but um, not a lot of problem with the actual skin irritation. If you don't have hair um, over your whole entire leg, you can still sugar your leg just to get the exfoliating benefit. So that that is one thing that it's going to be removing that top layer of dead skin and that's why you can tell that when I first started with this piece of sugar it was more of a clear honey looking color and now it, it has more of a white paste and a lot of that white is from the the dead skin that it, that it's picking up as it's working on there. Um, and, and that's even after exfoliating. I do recommend exfoliating the skin with a loofah at least or a washcloth. Um, although my, my preference is exfoliating gloves. They're a little bit more aggressive and get a lot of that dead skin off. So when, when you do have the sugaring done, your um, piece of sugar will last longer than if you, um, than if you don't exfoliate. Because it, once this once the sugar sugar gets too much dead skin in it, it really just stops sticking to the hair and and it um, doesn't work that well. So all right, that is the upper thigh.